hello and welcome to the channel once again the name is guru today we do have the infinix hot 10t right over here right now on 111 so on this phone we do have the factory reset protection which is the google account lock or the frp lock on your device so first i'll have to be connected to the internet so i'll be using my wi-fi network as my internet connection you can use your data plan but i require you to use your wi-fi network so i'll be connecting to my wi-fi network we do have password on it so i'll provide the password so if yours do have password make sure to provide the password for you to be able to have access to the internet so here are the terms of usage so i'll be fast forwarding this part to we get to the google account verification option Per security verification you need to provide your previous security pin or your google account so here we do have google account pin set on this device before hardware setting so we have to move back to the wi-fi menu or the wi-fi option so click on add network then when the keyboard pop ups click on the mic and deny permission so deny permission for the first time and the second time so in the third time you'll be prone to allow permission in settings so click on allow in jamboard choose permission and now click on search icon and top right corner now let's search for settings now let's search for settings so then you need to search for settings hide the keyboard and scroll down to you see settings click on settings then click on the open so when the settings open scroll to you see app management then chill manage so click on it and then scroll to you see file and media click on it and scroll to you see x share so you do have x share right away click on it and allow management of all apps then move back back again back and now go in for app settings so in the app settings scroll to you see x share then click on it so now click open click on open so here we do have x share right over here so now let's set it up so after setting it up you need your second device which will be transferring these three files which is the frp bypass google account manager and quick shortcut so all links will be in the description for you to download onto your second device so on your second device launch x share from it and now wait for it to load and we have to send this draft files or apk applications to the log device so here we do have the apk files which is showing you right over here the Google account manager quick shortcut FRP bypass which the links are in the description for you to download so here we do have all three files being checked so now let's click on send so let's allow permission for Wi-Fi network and now let's turn on Wi-Fi network move back and and wait for the QR code to be display on your screen then pick your second device which is the log device right over here so the infinix hot 10 t so now let's receive the apk files so now allow permission for the first time allow permission and now let's scan the qr code for the phones to be able to connect so now since it's been connected the file will start transferring and it will automatically install on your device so now you have both all files being installed so click on the frp bypass and now click on the three dots sign in on browser then click ok for the terms now since we don't have internet connection now let's disconnect from the x share for us to be able to connect to our wi-fi network so now let's let disconnect from the x share and then I, I was using my other phone as hotspot so and i've turned on the hotspot on the other phone so it will be connected soon so now we do have access to the internet showing right over here the wi-fi signal is showing so now we can click on the frp bypass application now we have the three dots 
browse sign in so we click ok now we will be able to sign in so from here if you do not remember your previous google account so you can create a new one from other phone and then come here and sign in or if you do have already have a second account you can sign in directly so let me input my password now my password is being inputted so let me click on next and wait for it to after signing in you will be draw back to uh, the x share right over here so all you have to do is to click on quick shortcut so in quick shortcut we are going to search for android setup so let's search for android setup so when we do search for android setup we are going to launch some specific option from the android setup okay so the, there are two android setup click on the first one for a drop down menu and scroll to you see scroll to you see the last option right over here click on it and now hit on try and now that's it the device has been unlocked successfully so the last option that you have to do which is very important is to factory reset your device else if you do download apps from unknown source you will not be able to install the app so make sure to factory reset your device from settings this time not a reset so let me show you if you try to install app the installation will fail and it will quit unexpectedly so the only solution is to factory reset a device after unlocking your device so now let's move to settings then my phone build number so let's type on the build number and now developer option is enabled so if you do move to the developer option make sure oem unlocking is enabled so click on enable and now move to settings again and now let's go in for factory reset and make sure our device has been reset to a default settings so let's factory reset the device erase all data so this will erase all content on the device once again and this time let's wait for it to boot up okay so the device is done factory resetting and we are good to go to set up our device so when you do start setting up your device you will not be prompt to verify your google account or previous pin which has been set on this device so now click next okay so let me fast forward this part okay done resetting so now our device is being bypassed successfully so if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe for more useful content